One way to easily add text to an image is to use the Google Drawings app. And to make a new Google Drawing, you just go to your Google Drive and click on the New button. Hover over More, and you'll see right here is the Google Drawings app. So I'm going to click that. And when this loads up, um, there's a series of things that I do to prepare this image. And the first one would be to just change the background color. And you can do that by right clicking on the background and hover over background. I'm going to make this white. You can choose any color. Then I bring in the picture that I'm going to use. Right here is the image button. And if I click that, it shows me all the options I have for bringing in an image. I could upload something from my device. Right now I'm working on a Chromebook. I could bring in a picture that way. I could get it from my Google Drive or I could search for it. And right now I'm going to search for it. Notice that it does search for ones that are labeled free for com commercial use with modification. So I'm going to do a sunrise because I want to make like an, a, an inspirational poster. And I'm going to use this picture. So I'm going to click this once. Don't double click it right away because when you click it once it shows you the link where that picture is at. I'm going to copy that link then I'm going to click select. That will bring that picture into my drawing. And you notice that's a very easy way to get a picture. And it's one that is labeled free for use. Now I'm going to right click and paste so that I have that link. And this is just a way that I'm citing where I got the picture since it's not one that I took myself. I like to give credit. So I'm going to leave that there. Then the next thing is to add the text. First of all, I'm going to go copy my text. This is just a quote that I used to use in the classroom. I called this the key to success. So I'm going to copy that. And then over here, the way I like to do the text is to insert WordArt. Rather than just using the text box, I'm going to use WordArt. I'm going to paste that text in here. And then when you press Enter, it makes it as an object and you can stretch that and resize it how you want. You can change the font and color. Really all the tools that you can in any shape in Google Drawings you can do with this text. So for example I'm going to make sure that it's white. It has a black outline right now. You can change the color of the outline and you can change how wide the outline is with those two tools. And you can change the font. So I'm going to make it something that's a little more, a little wider so that I can see it better on my background. The main thing when you're doing these pictures is make sure that the text is readable and it's not blending into the background too much. Once you've got that the way you want it, all you have to do is download that as an image. So I'm going to the file menu. I'm hovering over download as and I usually pick PNG because that doesn't compress the image at all. So I'm going to select that and you can see that it will download to my downloads folder. From there I could easily upload it to Google Classroom. 